Hi everyone, welcome back to The Simple Dad. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be showing you the brand new quick share on my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra running One UI 7.0. So this update brings a fresh design and some really useful new features. So I'll walk you through how it works. If you want to try it yourself, I'll also share it where you can get it from. But before we start, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment letting me know what you think about the new quick share feature. All right, let's dive in. So here on the S25 Ultra, when I open up quick share from this quick panel menu, you notice a clean new interface with two tabs at the bottom, receive and send. So on the receive tab, incoming files show with a nice animation. So they're grouped in batches. So you can clearly see what you just received and you can tap open to jump straight into gallery of files. In the send tab here, you can basically pick what you want to share images, videos, documents, or any other files. You can even browse files from apps like My Files, Google Drive, or Photo. Once you select them, you'll see the file count and total size at the top, which is super handy. Another useful option is can't find the device. If the device you want to share with doesn't appear, Quick Share will guide you. So either ask the recipient to enable Quick Share or generate a QR code that they can scan to start receiving the files. So this is a big improvement and makes sharing between Galaxy devices and even other Android phones that now support QuickShare much easier and more reliable. So if you want to try this version yourself, you can grab the APK from the link in the description down below, or you can just go ahead and wait for one UI update, which will now be released in the coming weeks, which will bring it officially. So that's a new QuickShare feature on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. What do you think? Does this new design make file sharing simpler for you? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. And always, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment to support the channel. It really helps me bring you more simple and useful tech tips. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.